Hi guys, welcome to the channel, David here. Behind me are two very nice looking bikes and these are my latest test bikes. Just wanna give you a quick run through, a quick first look at some of the key details on these bikes before we get them all covered in mud and dirty. So over on the left is a brand new Rose back roads, carbon frame and a Shimano 105 group set. And beside it in a very fetching olive green is the all new Canyon Grail AL, also with a Shimano 105 group set. So they're both German bike brands, direct sales brands, which means you buy through their websites and you save a lot of money that way. So really good value for money. And these bikes both have in common the fact they are gravel and adventure bikes, as you can tell by the tires. So let's take a closer look at some of the key details. Two very nice looking bikes then, I think you'll agree. But let's start with this one. This is a new aluminium Grail, a more affordable version of the company's first dedicated gravel and adventure bike. It was carbon at launch. Now you get an aluminium version at a range of prices. The first thing to note is this. A very normal looking handlebar and stem. No hover double decker handlebar like you get on the Grail carbon version. And as you can see, the drops have a slight flare for a bit more control when you're hooning down a gravel road. And that is a very short, diddy stem, isn't it? Look how short it is. So maximizing control there. And it means you can adjust the, the stack and height much more easily. But moving down, you get a carbon fork with plenty of tire clearance, look at that clearance. Loads of space there. Moving down, we find of course, disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, flat mount caliper, and a 12 mm seractile there. And inside the fork is the internal hose routing, so nice and clean lines. Move to the frame. What you have to do with all bikes these days, isn't it? Of course, you've got to test it. Yep, that sounds metal to me. Internal cable routing. I love the shape of this down tube. This profile is very fetching, very pleasing to die. I like that. And this olive green looks really good. You can get a silver as well if you prefer. So tapered head tube at the front and at the seat tube we've got this little gusset here. I guess that's for reinforcing for structural purposes rather than any shouldering benefits. You're not going to shoulder a gravel bike. You're more likely to have a frame pack in here than, uh, than put it over your shoulder. Aluminium seat post and moving further down, we find one, two, and three bottom mounts there. So, plenty of hydration options for if you're doing a really long epic ride. And move to the back of the frame, you see there's a throw axle on the back as well. We have a mudguard mount there, there's also mudguard mounts on the fork. And move further up, really interesting detail rack mount now you won't get rack mounts on a carbon grail but you do on the aluminium version so if you're commuting and you'll put a rack on there you put a rack on there with a set of mud guards and you have a, a really good commuting bike now this bike as i mentioned has a shimano 105 group set mechanical because there's no di2 105 yet and you've got a compact 5034 and a wide range 1134 cassette on the back all looks very tidy and the wheels uh, DT Swiss aluminium clinchers, tubeless ready, and you've got these really cool looking Schwabi G1 bite tyres with this. I love this tan sidewall. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And the bite version of the Schwabi G1 tyre has quite an aggressive tread profile. Also, wearing a set of G1 tyres is the Rose, but these are the all round tyres, so as you can see the difference, these are quite aggressive quite high profile spiky knobs. These are smaller, compacter, closer together, so kind of better road hard pack. But if you're dealing with mud, this can be a better choice. But for all round use, as the name suggests, it's a good tire. And these tires are rolling on the new Rose back roads. So this is Rose's first adventure gravel bike. They've had a slight cross bike before, but this is a dedicated gravel bike. And it looks really cool. Carbon frame, got a massive down tube the size of it, it's huge. And you've got internal cable routing as well. Up front, you've got a beefy carbon fork with mudguard mounts as well. I like the logo on the head tube there. Also got hydraulic disc brakes, through axles, internal hose routing there. And while we're at the front, we find a Ritchie aluminium handlebar and stem. Ritchie's a really nice kit, make good equipment and it's nice to see a branded um, approach on this bike. And like the Canyon, 
the handlebars have a slight flare to the drops, a bit more control and leverage when you're, as I said earlier, hewing down a rough gravel descent. Oh, looks very cool. Understated graphics, nice and um, subtle. Rose have really improved the graphics over the last few years, and I like this sort of off centre Rose logo on a down tube. Nice and uh, tidy. Up at a seat clamp, they've been doing this kind of wedge external seat clamp for a few years now on their road bikes. Nice and easy to adjust. And that's holding a carbon fibre seat post in place. It's a road design with a two bolt clamp, and on top of that is a Salitalia saddle. Let's move further down. So on the canyon are three bottle cage mounts. On this one we have one, a two, and uh, just two. But instead of a third bottle cage, we have this plastic armour plating. It's not something you see on road bikes that often, but you see it on a lot of mountain bikes. And the idea is basically to protect the down tube from rock strikes when you're pummeling down a fire road, just to provide a bit of uh, protection to carbon frame, which is um, a good thing, really. And also protecting the carbon frame, you can't really see it, but it's just there is a sort of a small metal plate. This bike can be fitted with mud guards. Little mud guard plug there. And you've got internal routing as well. And this bike, like the Canyon, is rolling on a Shimano 105 group set mechanical. So you've got a wide range cassette at the back and a 5034 chain set on the front. And this bike, it's rolling on aluminium wheels as well, but they are Rose's own brand wheels. So quite a deep profile, probably a 30, 32 mil. And they look okay. And like the Canyon, we've got this Schwabi G1 tires with this really cool um, tan sidewall. I'm liking that. I think it looked really, really good. So that's Rose and the Canyon. There we go, a quick first look at the brand new Canyon Grail AL and the Rose Backroads. Two really interesting and exciting looking gravel and adventure bikes. Now they have a lot in common, particularly the tyres, but the one thing they don't have in common is the price. So the Rose with a carbon frame and Shimano 105 group set costs just over £2,000. And that Grail with an aluminium frame and also a Shimano 105 group set costs £1,350. So quite a price difference, um, you pay quite a premium for that carbon frame. They're both really good value for money compared to other brands like Specialized and Trek and Candale and so on. But there's a big price difference depending on whether you want carbon or aluminium really. They both look like really good bikes. I can't wait to get out on the trails and find out how they perform. And you can see those reviews on the RoadCC and off -road CC website in a few weeks uh, time. But let me know which bike you would ride, uh, which one you'd buy. Would you go to the Canyon or the Rose? Rose or Canyon, which one's your, your preferred choice? They both look really cool, but let me know in the comment section below which one you would buy with your own money if you're in the market for one of these new bikes. But that's all for now. As I said, a really quick first look at my latest test bikes. So I'll be just riding these over the next few weeks. And you can follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes, to find out how I'm getting on these bikes. So uh, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all again next time.